Our space camp adventure began at 4.30 a.m. on Wednesday, April 19th. This is when we uh, had to arrive at Carver in order to board the bus that took us to space camp. We traveled through four states, Arkansas, Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama. Our final destination was Huntsville, Alabama, the city where the U.S. Space and Rocket Center is. When we arrived, we were greeted by our trainers, ushered inside to get wristbands and space camp t-shirts, and then we attended an orientation underneath a space shuttle to get us ready for all the fun things we, we were about to do. After orientation, our Carver group was split into three teams, Team Akinar, Team Beetlejuice, and Team Procyon. There were 20 teams from schools and all across the United States that went through the training with us. The Carver teams went their separate ways and learned all about space flight history, the future of space flight and different careers one can have in the STEM field. We learned about rockets and built one from scratch that we got to lunch. Some of our rockets landed in the Rocket Hall of Fame, a.k.a. the Pond Trees, but most of landed gracefully in the lunch field. Oh, that one went back this way somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see the smoke. Oh, yeah. It's coming down. Parachute did not open. The parachute did not open. That's a problem. Each day, the cafeteria staff served us great food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We worked as a team to complete a space mission. We all had different roles and had to work together in order to safely launch our spaceship off the ground and back to Earth safely. Some of the kids even got to suit up and work like astronauts do in space. There are several simulators that you get to physically participate in that are a lot of fun. The space shot was the ride most of our team enjoyed the most. This simulator helps you experience what a rocket launch feels like. You rocket 140 feet straight up in the air in 2.5 seconds. There are four G's of force on launch and you get to experience two to three seconds of weightlessness on, out of your seat and then a one G free fall. It was literally breathtaking. Another fun simulator we all loved was G-Force. You get to experience three Gs pushing on your body. We had fun on the Mars climbing wall where we got to scale a model of the Milky Way's tallest volcano, Olympus Mountains. The hypership was also great. It's a motion-based simulator that had us holding on to our seats as we felt like we were flying with the Red Baron. Space Camp also has tons of wonderful exhibits. The ISS Science in Orbit exhibit allows us to see what it is like to work and live in space. There is a model of NASA's Payload Operation Integration Center 
This is where scientists and engineers on Earth manage the experiments astronauts conduct on the International Space Station. There is also a model of the Cupola Observation Module, which provides ISS astronauts their view of space. Inside the main exhibit area, of the Rocket Center has one of the largest collections of rockets and space memorabilia in the world. We learned about the space race between the USA and the USSR, NASA's journey towards putting a man on the moon, and a look at what may happen in the future. The, the original Mercury and Gemini capsule trainers are also on display. There is also an authentic Saturn V rocket, one of only three in the world. At Rocket Park, there are over two dozen missiles and rockets to see. The Rocket Center also has an IMAX movie theater that is spectacular. We watched Dream Big and were really inspired by it. On Thursday night, after two full days of learning, we put our knowledge to the test by having a space bowl where we competed against each other in a trivia-type game. We also had to build a rocket and answer some tough questions as a group to help determine the winner. Team Procyon ended up being the w winning team from the space bowl. On Friday morning, we met up with all 20 teams and attended a graduation ceremony where we received our wings. All three Carver teams did an amazing job and received accolades from all of their crew trainers. We enjoyed some awesome games, big laughs, and together learned that sometimes monkey knots say oi. Thanks for the memories and reps, John. Let's graduate. Mary Anderson, Marcus Collier, Emil Cooper. Melody Cooper. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Lark, you can. Kyle, Mahala, Ray, Lily Horton, Diane Jenkins, Regina Pena, Michael Stone, Andrew, Calcutta, and Renia Workman. Congratulations, guys. This week. Now, when I uh, saw that I was getting Carver Magnet, I realized this is the school I had the previous year, and that by far that school has been one of the best that I had ever had. And I was excited to see them coming back and knowing that I was going to work with them again. Agnar, I can tell you that my excitement for having a really great team last year in Carver Magnet was doubled by having you. Because you outshone what I have remembered and was able to show me that this school, that this place, can inspire and see you guys and shine bright like the stars of love. I'm very proud to have gotten to be with you and thank you for the wonderful experience this week. I am proud to congratulate you guys. So up first, I have Karen Banks. Zarian Butler, Araya Chun, Jesse Gilbert, William Jones, Kevin Murray Jr., Kevin Murray Sr., Bethany Myrick, Michaela Starks, Jennifer Triplett, and Miss Lucy Triplett. I give you Team Acton. Good afternoon. Team Beetlejuice walk in here, students and they will walk out as warriors for science, teamwork, lead, leadership, mathematics, and also environmental conservation. There are no words bright enough to encompass these bright stars that I've gotten to know, and I hate to allow them to go, but I know that they are moving forward towards greatness. With that, let's graduate. Joseph Andi Basilo, Tristanu Clement, Heidi Clement, Katie Cole, Beth Cole, Mrs. Cook, Mr. Crater, Alia Gerard, Matt Marty Diega, 
Kate Noel, Ariel Smith, Kyla Wade, and Antonio Williams. Thank you so much, Team Beetlejuice. Team Christian from our Carver group won the overall outstanding team at Space Camp out of all 20 teams. Way to go, Team Christian. My sisters and brothers, let's let the future in. We come so very far to reach that shining star. And now we're here to say, this is our day. It's our time. Oh! Thank you, Space Camp, for giving us such a wonderful experience. We had the best time, and I know that we will never be the same after visiting. Our training wheels are off now. We are ready to launch our future.